Today, the city of Columbia has a new leader against violent crime, Trayvon Fordham. He is the director for the Office of Violent Crime Prevention, a brand new position. Chris Joseph spoke with Fordham today, so Chris joins us now with what his background is. Chris? Well, Donde, he served with the Richland County Sheriff's Department, the Department of Juvenile Justice, and South Carolina's Department of Public Safety. He's going to have to put that experience to work. With applause, Trevon Fordham formally began his new job, keeping many of you safe. I want each of you to know that I'm a man of few words, but more about action. So we are ready to hit the ground running. I understand and realize that there's a lot of work to be done. Fordham is the brand new director of Columbia's Office of Violent Crime Prevention. City leaders describe him as the quarterback who will be responsible for organizing law enforcement, nonprofits, and the community towards reducing violence. That includes shootings, domestic violence, and other crimes. We're going to set timelines. We're going to get together and put together a comprehensive plan that will lay out what the timelines are. Um, does that mean that there may not be a shooting tomorrow because we have a timeline? No. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at our short term, our long term goals. We're going to put a plan together that not only looks at what we want to do this year, but looks for the years to come. The city council propped up his office with $800,000 this past November, and he'll also be responsible for winning grants to fuel the mission. His selection comes as CPD data shows a year over year rise in shooting victims. But so far this year, the number of shooting victims has been stagnant. I think people are definitely concerned about increases in crime. I mean, why wouldn't they be? I mean, I, people have felt that personally. Um, people have seen it flash across the news. So people are definitely impacted by it. Reverend Kerry Grady, a leader with the advocacy group More Justice, expressed cautious optimism about the city's investment, saying he's glad the city's responding to the issue. I'm hopeful. I mean, I don't know enough yet, so I'm, um, I'm hopeful. I, I, I don't have a problem with the city um, um, taking resources and getting resources to specifically address this. A sentiment echoed by Building Better Communities founder Perry Bradley. It's a good start. I think um, seeing how we move forward from this, especially with the partnerships and how well the city responds to the, the different community organizations, let's see how it goes. Now, Columbia Police Chief Skip Holbrook also spoke at Fordham's introduction today, saying he expects Fordham to work closely with CPD's data, data analysts and described it as a great opportunity. Donnie.